Of course, of course, Khabib. Khabib gonna win. My brother, inshallah. The first word I'm gonna teach you is called inshallah. Say it with me. Oh, I know, inshallah. You know inshallah? Yeah, I know. Do you know what it means? Uh... Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Ronaldo speaks like a Muslim. And now some of you already don't even like the idea. Why? Just because he said this right here, SQ? Of course, of course, Khabib. Khabib gonna win. My brother. Inshallah. This makes him a Muslim? This makes it cool? This makes it breaking news? Absolutely does. You see? Because Khabib is doing something right now that is super important. Before we talk about Khabib, take a look at my classroom, by the way. This is the classroom. It's one of the classrooms, right? It's not my classroom, but it's just a classroom I share. Take a look at how. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video about LGBTQ. Look at all this. Look at this. It's like uh, it's like something so innocent as a rainbow. Some rainbows are cool, right? I remember as a kid, rainbows were so cool. I used to draw them. But who knew that they would turn such a cool thing into such a such a dangerous weapon? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy. Anyways, right? So um, yeah, we know. We have seen the Instagram live. We have seen people make a big deal out of it. And I'm no different. I'm gonna make a big deal out of it too. The fact that Ronaldo on his platform is talking and saying, inshallah, that's a big deal. And I'm proud of Habib for actually giving dawah. And you know, like people are gonna be like, ask you, how can you support Habib? MMA is haram. Okay, it is. I don't really watch MMA. It's too go gory and gruesome for me personally, right? So I'm not a scholar. I'm not a mufti. I can't tell you if MMA is haram. You go figure that out yourself, right? I personally don't support it myself. But you know who I do support? I support the Muslims in the industry. I just do. You know, because look, I get it. I get it. You might be doing something that's not permissible. I understand that. But when you are winning and you're bowing your head, you're making dua to Allah, and you're saying Alhamdulillah, I support those things for sure, you know? And He deserves our love. I mean, personally, but you know, some of you are going to hate me for saying that, but that's okay. I have to say what I have to say. You see, Habib is reminding us and doing something that we all have forgotten to do, and that is da'wah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put us in these nations, in these countries that have no exposure to Islam. And I recommend you check out this video over here. Wait, wait, no, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. No, this video right over here. No, wait. This video over here, yeah. I forget where the box is coming out. Yeah, this video right over here where I'm giving da'wah to non-Muslims. People want to talk about Islamophobia. That's true. But what are we doing right now to combat Islamophobia? I think the fact that a lot of people know uh, Habib, he's doing something to combat Islamophobia, right? The fact that people are learning about Islam, the fact that Mo Salah is doing something that's helped in Liverpool you know, to lower the rates of Islamophobic sort of attacks and stuff, that's a win. That's a win, you know what I mean? I don't really agree with him posing with that girl in GQ, but you know, that's a different story, okay? But Ronaldo is saying, inshallah, and Habib is reminding us of our path. Our job is to give da'wah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us on these lands to give da'wah, to teach people about Islam. Not to water Islam down and conform to their religion, their belief, their system, have my children dress up in Halloween costumes just so they can all fit in, so they can come in and get some candy. I'll buy you candy. You need to beg for candy, bro. You don't need to beg for candy. We don't have to, you know, dress our children up in Halloween costumes and all these things because we're conforming to how society wants us to be instead holding and upholding our own uh, Islamic identity. So. Habib is, you know, he's taught, you know, Ronaldo enough that he knows, inshallah. Maybe not from Habib, but the fact that he knows it. I'm in a real classroom, guys, okay? So, uh, that's our purpose, to give da'wah. That's what we have to be doing, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take you on an exclusive, random thing, random trip. And we're going to give some da'wah. How? The same way that Habib was giving da'wah to Ronaldo. Right? Habib was giving Dawa to Ronaldo. Take a look. This is my classroom. This is the hallway. That's a teacher over there. That's another teacher right over here. And that's another lovely teacher right over there. With the mint green. With the mint green over here. With the mint green over here. Right here, right here, right here. No, don't worry, don't worry. I'm a messy person myself. They know. Yeah, I feel like all, all my viewers are all messy and stuff like that. I like the outfit. I like the outfit. Listen, Jody, I'm going to teach you some Arabic today. You ready? Okay. 
Ready, okay, some Arabic, okay? So I'm gonna teach you some words, and these are all practical words that you can use. Okay. Okay? Okay, so all the words that you're gonna learn today right now with me are all words that you can use in your daily life. You don't have to be Arabic for them or Muslim for them. You can use it anytime, okay? The first word I'm gonna teach you is called inshallah. Say it with me. Oh, I know, inshallah. You know inshallah? Yeah, I know. Do you know, know what it means? Uh, I don't recall. You don't recall. <laughs> That's okay. But I know. You know inshallah. Okay, you've heard inshallah. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so inshallah basically means Lord willing or God willing. Oh, okay. 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 So if you're about to do something, you would just say inshallah. So give me a sentence where you would say inshallah. Uh, inshallah, I will get all my work done. That's it! You seen that? Okay, okay, okay. okay. You're good, you're good, Jody. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna teach you another one. You're good, you're a fast learner. I know. No, she's a fast learner. She, she's not giving herself credit. Okay, 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 inshallah. Inshallah, we're gonna do another one. Another one. I uh, see how I use that? Okay. I'm gonna teach you another one, okay? This one is called mashallah. Okay, mashallah. Mashallah, you said it very nice. So mashallah means may God be pleased. Ah, okay. okay. So you could use that whenever you see something that's really, really nice, you always say, oh, may God be pleased. When something's beautiful, like if I like your outfit, which I do, I'll say, oh, mashallah. Like I love the sneaker, mashallah. So give me an example where you would use the word mashallah. Uh, mashallah, I treat people with kindness today. That is absolutely the right way to do that. Absolutely. And you know what? Mashallah, that's a beautiful quality about you. Uh, you see? I try. Okay, there we go. Let me teach you one more. Let me teach you one more, okay? This one is when you can be like in awe. If you're in awe of something, right? Like, wow. Like, like a wow kind of event, okay? You can say, Subhan Allah. Let me say it again. Okay. Subhan Allah. Subhan Allah. Yes. So if you're in surprise of something like, wow, only three kids showed up today? Subhan Allah. Okay? What? It's raining today? Subhan Allah. Huh? Give me an example how you would say it. Ah, uh, Subhan Allah. I planned the greatest lesson and no kids have shown up yet. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Okay. So what were the three words I just taught you right now? Or one, there's one you actually knew already, but what are the three words? Let's see if you remember. Inshallah. Mashallah. Supan, Supan, Shala. I feel like I'm not. No, no, the last one is good. Let's go. Let me show you. Okay. We're going to do the last one again. Okay. Subhan. Subhan. Allah. Allah. There we go. Okay. Subhan. Subhan. Allah. 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 So let's go with the three again. Go ahead. Inshallah. Mashallah. Subhan. Allah. Mashallah. You see, what a great job she's just done right now. Mashallah. She's done a great job. And inshallah, if we continue to give dawah, people will learn more about Islam. And of course, of course, subhanallah, what a beautiful job you just did. Jody, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You see, this is, this is the type of... This is the types of videos that we be making. What up, man? How's it going, bro? Listen, want me to teach you some Arabic? I'm going to teach you some Arabic real quick. You ready? Come here, come here, come here. Teach you right, okay? So I'm going to teach you a word right now, okay? It's called inshallah. Say it with me. Inshallah. There we go. That means God willing. So if you're about to do something, you just say inshallah. Okay, so let me give you an example. I'm about to go to my class, inshallah. Give me an example. Um, I'm about to check on this kid, inshallah. Good job. Good job. Mashallah. Good job. Good job. So guys, look. I'm bringing you back to the room to show you the dawah and all these things are not as difficult as you think. And don't think that SQ is doing because I'm some special sort of dude. No. When you have the enthusiasm, when you have the energy, when you're excited to spread the deen of Allah, wallahi, wallahi, people will come. People will learn from you. People will gravitate towards you. So shout out to Habib. Shout out to Ronaldo. And shout out to all you guys for watching as well. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. Love you all for the sake of Allah. That's really the video. I'm not going to drag this out. Um, yeah, guys, check out some other videos. Check out that social experiment. I think it's dope. I think it's dope. I personally think it's dope, but it's not up to me. It's up to you guys, right? So see how it does. But uh, inshallah, until next time, I'm out.